Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna show you where we live. Okay. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna show you the street where you're coming into the cul-de-sac. We live in a cul-de-sac. Okay. There you go. Okay. I, I'm just gonna tell you that in this area we have like 176 mobile homes or manufactured homes in uh, in the village okay some of them are double wide like ours like that and some of them are single wide like that so i'm just showing you the difference between the single wide and the double wide all right and uh, of course the double wide you pay a little more on the pad where your house or your home is standing uh, and the single wide you pay less right okay there is the entrance of the home there is the entrance of the home and uh, if uh, if you go to the left side of the home there is the back you see the back and i'll show you the the boundaries of the of the between homes okay you see that bird bath that i have that's the boundary of the home between ours and the neighbor okay for this area okay between our home and this home so there you go all right so right now we're gonna turn around so i can show you the back there is the deck <coughs> there is our deck okay there is our deck we did a couple of uh, parties in there already we invited some of our friends uh, we barbecued there but that was before the pandemic so uh, uh, when the pandemic hit we cannot do that anymore so we have to follow the health protocol uh, we don't want to be fine for doing parties okay and also we are very vulnerable and lots of people living here are vulnerable too so there is my garden and look at the flowers that i have on my green beans the last time i showed that to you it was still small and uh, and even the cucumber plants they were still tiny the first time i showed it to you now they're they've grown and there's the tomatoes and i haven't shown you my fig tree i have a fig tree right there i keep forgetting to show that to you okay and there is the shed that shed that shed i had the roof repaired because it was really dirty when we first moved in here so i made it a little prettier so it is uh, kind of presentable i planted uh, roses right there okay we stored our our uh, uh, seasonal things in there whenever we need it we just take it out and uh, and use them and if we don't need them we just store them there okay and right here i am going to show you the the plants that i have here there you go it used to be so tiny now it's getting really big that's a squash plants okay and on this side i'll show you the back of the home there you go that's the back and that's the back entrance too the back stairs uh, in that stairs when you go up there that's the laundry room okay you can see we have like a cooling system installed just recently because it went really really hot when the temperature went up to 42 we decided to have the the cooling system installed and uh, as you can see at the far end beside that stairs we have like pile of garbage in there those were the the skylights that were removed from uh, from the roof we had them removed because uh, we don't need it so that's one of the disadvantages living in a in a manufactured home or a mobile home like this one when it's hot it gets really really hot okay and also we found out from one of the neighbors that this home has a history of uh, leaks from uh, the skylight so we decided to have the skylights removed uh, we're going to 
replace the roof anyway so we told the roofer to remove the skylights because we don't need them and we don't want any more problems about the leaks we already had two problems with the leaks on the roof okay from the skylight um okay this is one of the skylights that was uh, Cover, that that is covered right now okay right now it doesn't look very nice because uh, the the installer has to come back and fill that up and then put a ceiling so it will look nicer and then they're going to paint it okay we have three skylights in this house or in this home uh, the other two are in this in the den okay this is the den I can't show you how it doesn't look like right now okay well uh, it's we've got lots of things in it so there you go everything is covered because they make a mess when they they uh, start working on that that's one of the the skylight that was covered and there's the other one there you go okay and uh right now i can show you i cannot show you the whole inside tour because as i told you before it is kind of messy because of the construction that's that was go that's going on for this home but i can give you a little sneak peek of this home there is the dining area and there is the living area okay it's not as big as the one that we 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 used to live in okay that house has two levels this one only one level uh for a person with sore knee like me i think this is the best area where we can uh, live instead of uh, uh, buying a condominium or things like that because condominium here in bc is very expensive this one is just right okay it's just enough for us um, and uh, easy to maintain uh, the the backyard it depends on where your your home is uh, is uh, standing uh, the pad you have to pay where some pads are longer than the others some pads are wider some pads some homes are pushed a little back on the back and then their garden is in the front so this one the garden is in the back because the house is like uh, pulled a little forward towards the the street okay so uh, this video is actually requested by one of my great nephews i would like to say hi and shout out to ralph ralph you re requested a tour of the home but i am so sorry i cannot uh, tour you inside the home because the home is still kind of uh, messy but at least i uh, gave you a little tour outside the home and you will have the feel of and uh, knowledge what a mobile home or a manufactured home uh, looks like outside the house but as soon as everything is ready or as soon as everything is fixed and i cleaned out the house or put everything in their in their in their uh, uh, proper spot then I will give you a tour of the inside the house. Okay, I promised that. Okay, so right now, this is it. I hope you like my video and uh, I hope uh, uh, you will give me a thumbs up and, uh, and uh, you can leave me a message or you can uh, uh, give me uh, some suggestions what kind of a, a video you want to see and if i can do it i will do it and uh, <clears throat> and comment or ask question ask question if i uh, can answer it i will to the best of my knowledge i know there is advantage and disadvantage living in a manufactured home uh, i wonder if 
you know, if we have this kind of arrangement or, or living arrangement in, in the Philippines, like uh, if you do have like a big property, probably you can make it like a village like this, and then you can rent out the pad uh, for the home. Uh, but of course, you need to buy a home for yourself, right? Uh, like what we did, and then we rent the pad where the home is standing. Okay, and uh, there you go. And I will say goodbye now, and hopefully you like this video, okay? And hopefully you will subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.